this camera right here. I actually record on two SD cards at the same time. There's this one and there's this one. This is like the Sony cameras have this thing where you can put in two SD cards and you can also put in two CF cards in there, but they're mad expensive. I'm not dealing with those. Um, and I need a lot of storage, so I have two 512s in there. I don't even know if 512 CF cards exist. Um, maybe 500 exists, but that's like the most it'll ever go to and probably won't even be that fast of a card. There's no point in getting a compact flash that's only going to do like 300 megabits per second, you know? Might as well go with the SD card at that point. But maybe you can upload four at a time. I don't know. I doubt it, though. Too much battery, you know? But I upload to... I, I dual record. I record to both at the same exact time. And yeah, it eats up a lot of battery. So nobody does this. This is like a super, um, like for the longest time, I was like, there's no way I'd ever use this kind of feature, right? But it's actually a super useful feature. Like, cause um, a lot of times, like the stuff that I record is usually like in public and things like that. And like, you don't even, you don't even need to be doing like crazy shit, you know? But just like, even if you're like out in public, you're like, go to some place and some like dumb bitch is like, Actually, I don't want to be on camera. You need to have my consent to be on camera. Delete the footage, delete the footage. And then you're like, um, I don't want to deal with this or whatever. Sometimes you can get away with it. it. Depends on how slick you are. Sometimes, you know, some fucking simp is going to come by and go like, Hey, actually, you have to delete it. You have to listen to the lady. She uh, she doesn't want to be on camera. You have to respect the, the women. You do. And, and so, like, uh, you got to end up deleting it because you don't want to get into some fight or whatever. Uh, and they're, like, threatening to take your camera. They're, like, threatening to call the police. And so a lot of these times I just go like, okay, yeah, here, look, I'm taking the video, I'm deleting the video so you can see. And sometimes I delete the video and they're like, no, show me the one before. I, I want to know you didn't, I want to make sure you didn't, so I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. And it's like such a hassle to deal with. But now I just show it to them. I go like, here, I'll format the whole card for you. I hit format, the card's deleted. And uh, sometimes I'm even like, here, you want to keep the SD card? Pay me, give me the, Take the SD card right now, and then they don't ever take it because they don't want to pay me because my SD cards are expensive. But I even offer it to them. And if they pay me, I'll give it to them. But uh, little do they know, I have a second recording. You know, I never did this but in this particular situation. And but you might be like, oh, that only applies for like a Balin Levine, Gideon loaf, my house is dirty type situation, right? No, not at all. Um, it applies just as a video crew member, like if you want to kind of do your own thing. Like if you, like, okay, there's this thing that I do called guest house and it's like a very consistent, you know, I go to it repeatedly, um, at least like two times a month, I go there, I record and it's like the same sort of thing. I do the same sort of gimbal camera, same, it's like a two hour, two, three hour shoot, uh, the same amount of storage every time, same shots. So I know how many batteries I need. I know how much storage I need. Um, I know how long it's gonna be recording for. I need. I know the exact settings I need to have, all that stuff. I know what lighting, is gonna be there and all that. And so I can go there and be like, you know what, I'm gonna take an extra couple batteries because it eats battery to do this, by the way. Um, and that's really the biggest problem. But I'm, I go like, I'm gonna take a couple extra batteries. And then I go ahead and do it. I take a couple extra batteries. In between takes, I tell them like, okay, yeah, hold up, I'm gonna swap out my battery. I tell them that twice as much. It's not a problem. Everybody has their own things going on. And I'm the least high maintenance out of all these camera guys, you know, everybody's like, oh, I need to set up my aperture light on this thing, C-stand, unscrew it, make this sure that it's perfect angle and the, you know, light box and all this stuff. It's like, everybody's got like an hour to prepare for all this stuff. It's like, bro, I only need 10 seconds to swap batteries. So it's not that big of a deal. And I have plenty of batteries. And last time I did this, I gave my card to the guy. Um, he's like, okay, let me get your SD card. Uh, I'll give it back to you later. I don't have my computer on me, so I'm, I can't back it up. So he went home. He took my SD card with him. Uh, he got all the footage, made the videos, edited it, edited it, and then got it back to me like a week later. You know what happened? I, I take the footage, I take the SD card, plug it into my computer, card formatted, nothing on it. I'm like, bro, I wanted to make a behind the scenes. I wanted to show off like, hey, look at these cool things that I'm doing. Look at this cool footage. This dude, Johnny Apollo, he, he was uh, rapping and I wanted to show off, or he was singing and I wanted to show off like, hey, this dude can really sing. And I wanted to like show my brother that, like, hey, look at this dude, you know? But uh, I couldn't do it, it was formatted. But 
you know, the last time, I mean, this hasn't happened since then because I only started doing this like two weeks ago. But if this, if I had the setup back then, I could have just went home and been like, hey, I got all the footage I need already. I can make my own behind the scenes video. I can take it all, put it all in one giant um, composition and then composition that's after effects i could put it on one project play it all out and then export it and i know it'll be shit quality uh and shooting in logs so i'll probably need to apply a rec 709 but i could just drop a rec 709 on all of it like lightroom type shit just copy paste export out the whole thing like a five hour long video pop it up on youtube private boom i have a backup for myself whenever i need it like, it's just, it comes in clutch, you know? But, um, and I'm surprised more people don't use this. Because this is the clutch feature. Like, if you have everything else down, this is how you make sure you come in clutch for people. Um, one SD card got corrupted. Don't worry, bro, I got you with another one. It's, it's, and I'm all about coming in a clutch. That's like my whole thing now. Now it is, after the character arc, you know? But I'm so surprised that more people don't use this feature. But, yeah. Yeah.